Hello everyone, I'm John Keyes with the National Weather Service and it's Tuesday we're going to talk about tornado safety and all you need to know about tornadoes here in the Pacific Northwest. This is not a very active part of the country. If you look at the individual states of Idaho, Washington, and Oregon, you usually can count the number of tornadoes on one hand that happen each year. Now some of the years are a little more active. In 1997, Washington had over a dozen tornadoes. Idaho has been known for some interesting uh, tornado outbreaks. For instance, the Valentine's Day 2000 outbreak, there was five tornadoes reported in one day across the Snake River Plain. Between 1950 and 2011, just over 400 tornadoes were reported across the Pacific Northwest. Most of these are weak, and they only last just a few minutes. Unfortunately, a deadly tornado occurred in April of 1972. It was also the strongest one on record in F3. This one struck Vancouver, Washington, hitting a grocery store, a blowing center, and a school. When we talk about tornadoes and funnel clouds, there is one fundamental difference. The tornado is when the funnel is all the way to the ground. You see dust, you see debris swirling around. Otherwise, it is considered just a funnel cloud. In some parts of the west where it is dry, you actually just see the funnel cloud, dead space, and then the only way you know it's a tornado is when you see the dust and debris swirling on the ground. So remember that when you're out in some of the drier parts of the west. When we talk about watches and warnings, we know sometimes those terms seem confusing, but we want you to understand a watch means conditions are favorable for the development of tornadoes and severe weather. That's when you need to start making plans for severe weather then, not when the event is unfolding. When the warning is issued by your local weather service office, that means based on radar, other factors, a tornado is imminent. Otherwise, we may have a tornado on the ground that's already reported. When you see that warning issued, you need to take cover immediately. Taking your tornado precautions at home means if you have a basement, get there as soon as possible. Otherwise, find the most interior room on the lowest floor, whether it's a closet, a bathroom, a space under the stairs. Unfortunately, if you're trapped upstairs, you're not as safe, but do find the smallest room with the strongest walls available. Find an inside hallway. Put as many walls between you and the tornado as possible. Find as many coats, blankets, pillows, mattresses, anything like that as possible, and cover yourself with those so you're not hit by flying debris. If you're at a work or school or another place of business, go to an interior room or a hall on the lowest floor. Centralized stairwells are a good place to go. Stay away from any types of glass. Stay away from large open areas like school gymnasiums, warehouses, and the like. Crouch down and cover your head and neck. If you are stuck outside, try to find the nearest shelter, the sturdiest building nearby, or find something with a basement as soon as possible. While not ideal, if you determine you have enough time, drive out of the path of the tornado. Drive at a right angle from it and get away from it as soon as possible. Unfortunately, if you're driving and you cannot get out of the way, you need to get out of your vehicle, take cover in the lowest area you can find, lie down and cover up your head and neck at that time. Something that seemed to be popular, and these people were lucky back in the 90s, they took shelter underneath overpasses. They did not die in those events. Unfortunately, we learned several years later in an Oklahoma City tornado that you were, can be sucked out from underneath an overpass. So whatever you do, do not seek shelter under an overpass if you're out driving and trying to get out of the way of a tornado. Regardless, the key to tornado survival is knowing what to do and have that information with you ahead of time when you see a tornado or you see a tornado warning issued by the National Weather Service. Your actions may save your life and the life of your loved ones. Remember, the idea is to get prepared now, not when it's happening.